What's shaking this bacon? And I have a question. Do you guys believe in a destiny master race? I suppose master race isn't actually the correct term in this case, master class, but I guess master race has been going on for quite some time now. But yeah, do you think that there's one class that is above the others? And this is me telling you as a hunter, as someone who affiliates with the hunter class like superbly, that's, that's where I belong. I'm telling you, I believe that the Warlocks are the master race. I'm not going to go into my deep reasoning as to why I think that is. I think that's more of a, another video because that would drag this topic out a little bit. But yeah, I believe that the Warlocks, prior to Taken King, are the master race. I don't know what's going to happen in the Taken King, but as far as we know right now, they are the master race. And people tend to associate the master race with their favor or where they see themselves belonging with. I don't think I'm a warlock in the least, I'm more hunter, but I'm saying they are the master race. All right, so now that you understand that this is my opinion, let's delve deeper into why I'm bringing it up right now. All right, so a couple of days ago on Zer's Instagram page, he posted up a bunch of new Taken King exotics. I didn't really cover this because I just felt that it was puny news and it was just so small that it could be talked about in a damn Twitter post and I don't feel like making videos like that. It just hurts me as a content creator to even do things like that. I just feel like I'm not giving you guys enough. But I like talking about them in regards like this where I'm, you know, taking it a little further. And we're talking about the Alchemist Raiment. This is a new Warlock exotic chest. And it's perk really scares me and makes me think about that social class thinking about the master race and Would this push the master race even further? So let me tell you the perk that makes me think this primary ammo pickups have a chance to give you glimmer So you can make money off of the most common ammo in the game Now when it comes to glimmer farming, we've all done it Many of us need that glimmer because that cap is so little. 25,000 glimmer isn't really a lot when you really are working your butt off. So you have to go into that glimmering farming. And I've done that many times, especially when I was trying to reroll weapons. Now, does that mean that the warlocks are just going to have life easier? Seems like it. Right now, it seems like it. They're just going to have everything kind of handed to them even more. It's just going to be a lot easier to glimmer farm and they won't even have to glimmer farm at times if they're just on patrol not really doing anything they can just have that on because do you really need a super competitive exotic at the time on patrol everything is pretty damn weak to begin with so you just have that on and you can just go to town so my thought is okay they can't just do this they this can't work we need this to be like the crest of Alpha Luffy. That there is an exotic that is shared across multiple classes. It has the same perks and the same name for the Hunter and Titan. But since the Warlock, I guess, doesn't wear armor, they made it light beyond Nemesis. But it has the same perks. It holds that structure. It keeps them together. They all have that same benefit. So I think in this case, Bungie should allow the other classes to get an exotic like the Alchemist Raiment. It only seems fair because for one class to have a glimmer farming upper hand just doesn't feel right to me. I feel like they're just sitting on money bags now. Not only are they the most powerful, but they got the most money. <laughs> that is just so weird to me. I didn't expect anything like this on an exotic and I'm not going to neglect its second perk. Orbs collected when your super is full. Recharge your grenades and melee. You know... This isn't bad if you're holding off, if you're holding on to it, say, in Trials, if you didn't want to use your super. But I'd say I'm, I'm not really sure on this one because those orbs, after I use my super, could, you know, help me get my super back again. What's more important, kind of charging your grenades in melee or actually, like, throwing that into your super gauge so you can just hit them up with that amazing power again. So... Mm, I'm not really feeling this perk either. So overall, if you think about this, for me as a PvP player, 
this chest won't be used like honestly in comparison to the other exotics that we have coming and that we already have this doesn't seem to be anything really special except for that money it this is a grinding chest to me this is just for when you want to put your work pants on you put your uh robe on i guess and go to work so let's hope that bungie decided to put this perk on other classes for their exotics because if they didn't then i feel as though ace <laughs> a revolution is gonna come one day this is the beginning of something to come but that's just me what do you guys think do you think that the money bag warlocks are gonna be a problem and bungie should allow this perk to transfer across all the classes and if not do you see a revolution coming Thanks for watching, I hope you'll like, subscribe, all that jazz, and I'll catch you in the next one.